good morning everyone welcome to the workshop today's topic is introduction to r at the end of this video you will be able to understand what is r how to uh, go with r software and how to operate the basic arithmetic and numerical operations in r so unlike spss r is not a menu driven software so r is a coding software where you need to code the uh, program to execute any particular analysis spss sas stata and all others are menu driven softwares and those are uh, licensed by uh, certain company like ibm or many other stuff what is an r r is a programming language and the environment for statistical computing and graphics it has a wide variety of statistical and graphical techniques built in uh, which make its most popular language used by statisticians uh, data analysis researchers and marketers to retry so uh, it will clean analyze visualize and present the data in a systematic manner so r is free and open source software which makes source code is publicly accessible and uh, can be modified as users or developers can see fit it so anyone can contribute to r uh, to make it as a complete version of r it is keep on updating and the latest version of r is 4.4.3 uh, 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 so r runs on uh, different kinds of platforms so unix platforms windows platform max operating system or ubuntu operating system or any other operating system uh, for that matter so the environment and the community progress of this r is so almost all the functionality is done through uh, built in functions so basic and advanced functions are available by default so r is built uh, using packages that are approximately uh, 13000 odd packages available in r cran so that is a comprehensive uh, uh, archive network so we have in r uh, r r project that is R community is a group of developers who maintains R and guides its evaluation each and every time. So a few of the contributors of R are R bloggers, uh, which is very famous, uh, where the recent methodologies are being packaged every time, uh, and it is being added as a uh, package to Cron. So this is Revolution Analytics blog is also one of the contributors to R. So this is what is uh, Cron. where a comprehensive r archive network so which runs on this particular website it is a network of global web servers sorting identical up to date documentations of r it is a main repository for r packages so each and every uh, researcher who is interested in developing a statistical methodology uh, can contribute to this particular r and uh, and uh, has a and it can be progressed so when we see a r uh, software like it it, it 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 is actually looks like this so it is called as r gui that means r graphical user interface so this particular thing is called as r console so we have some basic uh, functions like file edit miscellaneous packages windows and help and we will going to see uh, lively uh, what actually these things will do to this particular r software uh, so all the data sets created in the sessions which is done in the r software will remain in the cache memory r software uh, that means command uh, which are case and case sensitive that means uh, capital a as a different kinds of meaning and capital b as a different kinds of meaning and it has a particular uh, work directory and we can uh, retrieve the r commands which uh, by by giving the r history command and we have a very good help support from uh, Uh, cran uh, to get the uh, different kinds of uh, commands meaning in terms of uh, in terms of help so the next thing is called as uh, these basic numeric functions we will generally uh, perform in r now and we will go uh, to the r software directly and perform this absolute square root ceiling floor truncation round off sin cos tan log uh, log x and uh, logarithmic common logarithmic exponential and many other these are all numerical functions 
and these are basic arithmetic functions which we can perform and we will see what actually we can uh, get as an uh, executable output of this particular uh, thing so i am directly uh, going to the r software now so this is particularly uh, r console we have here so i can maximize it so i am directly going to the file uh, so what are the options available in this particular file is r source code a uh, new script when you open a new script uh, an uh, editor will be opened so when we minimize it so this is what is an editor that is called as r editor you can edit many of the things here um, and you can uh, directly copy and paste some kind of script uh, which can be executable by clicking, uh, by uh, doing the control r command and then uh, we can do some kind of programming here because we cannot uh, edit some in r console we can edit edit in r editor so we will uh, use the different kinds of options uh, like packages for installing loading a package uh, that means a uh, different kinds of analysis which when we perform like uh, design like regression like other all stuffs we have to use some kind of installing the packages so we will see all these things uh, in the next slides or in the next videos so we will directly do some kind of operations in the r console and we will uh, see what kind of an executable uh, output we will uh, retrieve out of the commands which we have given so i am giving x is equal to uh, 8.5348 uh, 8.6548 something like that so i just but enter so i want to see whether uh, my my value is recorded or not yes i got an executable the same value is got recorded so i will going to use absolute function abs abs of x so it will remove the negatives because we don't have any new negatives it will retain the same value so we will use a floor function so floor function will give you the uh, uh, least integer value corresponding to any particular non integer value so we will use ceiling function ceiling function which will give the next integer value so that is 9 we'll use a truncate function which will truncate certain values so all the things are get truncated and only 8 is remain and then um, we can use sin of x tan of x so many other mathematical functions can be used uh, there are numerous mathematical functions available uh, in the r so which can be easily execute by clicking a, a easy will command and uh, we want to see the exponential of uh, r means e e to the power of x we have to see uh, what kind of a command it should be given so it is just like a exp of x so exponential of x it is so these are the different kinds of commands which we can run easily and then we will go for some uh, arithmetic operations like creating a vector and then adding subtracting uh, division uh, dividing multiplying the same vector so vector uh, will be in the form of an array array is a group of elements which shares the common name so that may be uh, i may call it as a so a is equal to c of c means it is a vector i am writing 1 to i want to print 1 to 10 values so i have to use colon here so 10 values i will print 
and then I will execute my A. If I execute all those 10 values, I should get. So these 10 values will going to uh, written in this particular location with the value called as A. So I will multiply A into A. So what it will retain? It will retain the multiplication. I want to add do A plus A. A plus A. So I got A plus A. I want to do the subtraction A minus A which will, will get all the zero values. So nice. A, uh, the, I want to divide A divided by A. So it will uh, do all these kind of uh, operations. Now we will have to see now uh, other uh, built in functions in R. So if I want to do some kind of sequence, if I want some kind of sequence to be printed, so I will just give the sequence. Mm, I want uh, 1 comma, mm, I want within 100 uh, the next uh, difference of 5 values. So I will see what kind of values I will going to generate. See this is what is executed. Uh, see 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46. So with the difference of 5 it is being executed. So I, I, I can see the sum of those uh, values. You see we have sum of y. Sum of y. You should uh, very careful in giving the commands because uh, if it is wrong it won't execute and you will get an error message that object is not found or any other message which will uh, not going to execute for the particular uh, uh, thing. And then uh, we can see the length of the values which is presented in the y. So how many values are there here I don't know. So if I want to see the length of the values I will just give l is equal to l e n g t h length of the values. Uh, length of the values will be length of what? Length of y I will give. So I, I will execute my l. So it, there are 20 values which is present from 1 to 96 with the difference of 5. So this is how we need to uh, do the basic operations of uh, um, the the in R, and then uh, we can create we can clear this particular uh, thing by just clicking Control L. So if I want to retain my history, so I will history. I will just uh, type history, and I will going to get uh, the basic history. It will generate the history. So this is what I have done. All the um, commands I have run. So I can get the working directory. Working directory means uh, where I am where I am working actually. So where I am working in the sense I have to find a location in the system uh, for uh, this particular R. So get uh, WD. So this is a command. So it will give me where my uh, things are get saving. So it is saving in the D drive uh, for the, in the users and the documents. So this is called as working directory. And then uh, we can use this help button to know any particular uh, command. So if I choose question mark and then uh, see this particular uh, command called as cor for example if you so if you have an internet it will going to generate some kind of uh, um, options where you can find the meaning of the command which you have given so just give the question mark and it will uh, it will go to the server and the help will be done to you So this is how we need to run the basic commands of uh, basic commands in the R. So if you have any queries, please uh, mail to me. Thank you.